welcome back. Um, I'm not sure how many stages are left, but I think I'm in the mood for a bit of a long run, so uh, this might be the last couple of videos today. Let's see uh, how much resolve I have to finish this game. We're almost there. When you meet your friends, your master, will you be ready? Smog. Here we are. I don't think anyone will be pleased to see us. There's the secret entrance. Remember the key. Hidden in light, shown in shadow. when I don't mean to. squished dead there if I'd been too slow. The hell is that? It's like a mask floating in the background. We've used these tunnels countless times to sneak out on missions. But this must be the first time anyone's used them to sneak in. Unless you're not wearing like the top of your hood anymore, so it doesn't look like you have hair now. Maybe all the tattoos made them fall out. Um. Hallucinations getting stronger? Oh, okay. You have to be careful. You may start to see enemies who aren't even there. And if your mind thinks you've been shot, your body will believe it. That's why I'm seeing faces. Ah! Those tracks will kill you, and so will the train. There's a reason no one but us ever uses these tunnels. No. Well, shit. Okay. 
gave me away. find the vent. I forgot where it was. Two guards. Bullshit. Before we go any further, you'll need weapons. Old Tyra always kept plenty on hand at the top of the watchtower. Oh, thank God. I was thinking they could sense me like dogs. I have to deal with these side rooms. Shit. <gasps> Why didn't I stop cranking? Okay. Good old Tyra. Even in death, you never let us down. Ah. Well, no. 
now I like the box. And what's this? Take that. Take that, and we'll buy Caltrop finally. Okay, that's what the final path was. So you get your teleporty dash, but you can't use distraction items. I'm gonna go to Path of the Hunter. Oh. No. We'll do the normal one. Try out the bucks. I'll see what that drops do. Now we must find a Zai before they find us. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna see what cow traps do, so we'll screw around with this guard down here. Serenity this level. body. Thank <laughs> you. 
looking at some bugs too. Oh god. That's what that was for. That was a way to sneak into that. This area is crawling with stalkers. It might be safer to die. Back into the subway tunnels and sneak past them. Oh god. Well that time the shielding was too low. Wait, what? Uh... I don't know what happened there. Maybe I was a little bit too low and the train got me. Shit, shit. I was close. Come on, it would have murdered everyone. Oh well. A dimple in the roost probably in case you were uh, climbing. Alright, this is not a subway. I'm gonna waste these cow traps just to see what they do. guards. Okay. They're more useful than I gave them credit for. Ah, I didn't even see that guy over there. Jesus. They disable you too. clan takes part in the Kutsu Age and offers their gratitude to the one who has become an ancestor. A lesson and a warning. The master buries the remains in the shrine in the heart of Hisomujo. For without this death, the clan could not stand. What if we can jump over that guy? I 
Probably not without a running jump. Oh, that was crazy. Don't know why I did that. Oh god. These guys are brutal. What? That is a bad place to have a checkpoint. Yeah. This is gonna get nasty real fast. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I thought they came and screwed me there and I was gonna have to start the stage over again. <laughs> Alright. No backtracking, Jordan. Sure. Oh, it brought me all the way back here. I guess I'll murder all these guys again.
figured that was a trap though. Just like that. Off on the trap. Jesus. Well, time to test the circle theory, I suppose. She. Yeah. Okay, you can kill them, you just have to, uh, beat them up first. We're back. Not much of a homecoming, is it? There's no it's alarms get raised in this place. At this hour of the night, he must be in his garden. if he'd see me there if I did that or not. Alright. I feel like I'm backtracking, but I'm not sure. We haven't set foot in here since we were students. Huh. I don't trust the look of that statue. Do you remember this test? The statue holds the lever tight, and you have to find the release. probably wasn't dealing with mask hallucinations. 
at the trap. I assassinate these guys. I'm assuming no. Oh. Never mind. I guess they just have gas masks. This is Thank part you. of the test, too. The doors will open on their own after a few moments. Just hold on. We know you're in here. like that test. Jesus. Now nothing stands between us and Azai. Except I'm sure a bunch of random guards. the map say there's two rooms up there? I must investigate. Ah, never mind. I'm just backtracking now. nothing? Huh. Guess so.
Welcome home. You die. I don't know. Yeah, I missed all kinds of shit in that stage. And I missed the final score marker too, probably. Yep. Put down your sword. I am not your enemy. You risked our lives at our clan, all to hide your failure. Who are you listening to? Have the hallucinations grown so strong? <laughs> the voice you hear is temptation. It is trying to trick you, to turn you against us, to lead you into madness. You must not let it. There are no female ninjas. I never lied to you. You swore an oath to save the clan. Sacrifice yourself. Reclaim your honor. It's true, she never you did lie give to me. Us a chance to survive. The clan gave up its honor, its guts, and its pride. It's not worth saving. I will leave you to make your decision. Take our ancestral blade from its shrine and come when you are ready. Well, you did get the old man killed. I kind of liked him, he gave me spiffy tattoos. The clan bows its head in shame, as it should. After we kill Azai, we must cleanse the rest of the clan. None of them have any honor. Oh, and now they're gonna make me doubt her. They called him Azai the Measured, but Azai the Fallen will be his legacy. Liking this kind of shadow presentation thing. It's really cool. This is the shrine of our ancestors. I wish we could hear their advice. Don't when you finally face his eye, don't let me down. He needs to pay for what he has done. I'm here to help you. Rule number one, don't get me killed. Look around. I wish I'd been dead a year. Maybe more. You picked the wrong guys to roll, Sensei. Is he gone? They say he's been hiding. I've never seen anyone here. I have to find out. You and I, we've always been together. Such a sap. But you know, you were stealing tech and you got us into this in the first place.
There we have it. Well, hope you all enjoyed this game as much as I did. I'll probably give a, do a second video showing the other ending. Uh, when you kill your ninja lady friend, or hallucination, whatever she may be. I heard this game has a new game plus. I don't know if that makes it harder or if it's just like you can go back and play it as much as you want I imagine probably the latter like now that you're uh, play through the game and know what you're doing maybe it takes the kid gloves off although that game wasn't really easy it was challenging enough so if they made it harder I'm not really sure like, it'd probably still be a lot of fun, but it would be, like, a hell of a lot more tense. Especially if, like, the later stages dealing with the stalkers. I have to say, though, I'm not a big fan of that last level. Like, after that initial, uh, me throwing bugs at everything, they were really stingy with the ninja, ninja tools. Like, I didn't get any at checkpoints, although that was the Path of the Hunter thing, I guess. Yeah, that's right. So that's my bad, I guess, for choosing when I like the path that I did. The basic path probably would have been better for that final stage. But I think one botched stealth kill there probably would have given me away and got me killed a lot more than what I did. Yeah, um, I don't know. I have uh, I have some good good feelings about this game company. I don't really know how long they'll stick around. So far it seems like they've kind of thrived on, like, the Xbox Live, like, arcade market. I know they made that one game, uh... It was like a beat-em-up. Well, not really a beat-em-up. I never played it. I can't say what kind of game it was. Um, but it was in this kind of style with, like, the drawn... Like, this type of art. Um but you were like an action hero kind of guy. Like, I don't know. I didn't play it. But apparently they made two of them. Um, and they did fairly well. And then they made this and brought it over to Steam. And, you know, I didn't even know this until I started playing this game. But that there's this game on Steam called Don't Starve. Um, me and my friend Tim actually did, uh, did a little, like, survival video to see which one of us could last the longest. Um... He should be editing that, and if he never gets around to it, I have the footage on my end. I might put that up. We're, like, in a call, so you can hear what's going on. You just won't be able to see his. I think he was going to edit it kind of split-screen, so you could watch both at the same time. Um, but I haven't really been able to talk to him in over a week. His new job's keeping him really busy. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, Don't Starve is actually a game made by Cly or Clay, or however you're supposed to say the name of this company. Um, it's dramatically different in style from all the other games that they've made. Like, it's got a different art style. It's got this kind of, uh, kind of bookish, Nightmare Before Christmas kind of a look. Like, I'm not really, kind of Nightmare Before Christmas-ish kind of look. And, like, everybody talks with musical instruments. And it's like a survival game. You just see how long you survive. And it's really cool. But all their games are kind of stylish and interesting and they have really cool presentation uh, you may start a new more challenging game but keep all your gaming upgrades enemies will be deadlier, sound rings will not appear and you'll have a hard time seeing what's behind you ah so it is harder but yeah so uh I'm gonna call it quits for now like I said I'll probably up a video showing the second ending and um you know I'll have to keep my eye on this company and see what else they come out with, because so far, they've impressed me quite a bit. Um, but, I'm going to sign out for now. Uh, this is Ben Mark of the Ninja. I hope you all enjoyed it.